okay, you've gotten a good referral for a contractor. Somebody at your work gave you a good referral and you hire the contractor and everything goes great on the project. They show up on time. They do an excellent job and um, complete it on schedule. That's good. You can't beat that. Now this happened to me personally. My wife hired a contractor who did this. Showed up on time, finished the project, but at the end of the job he asked her for more money. He asked her for an additional $1,500. He said it in a creative way. He said, I think that she owed him around $2,500. And he asked her to write out one check to him for $1,500. And another check to him for $1,500. And a third check to someone else for a thousand dollars. Well, she only owed him $2,500. So we came up with the idea to just write one check for $1,500 to him and the other check for a thousand dollars to his friend. And we never heard from this guy again. So be careful working with people that do great jobs. They're licensed contractors. Um, they're referrals from a friend of yours. Um, don't think for one minute that something isn't going to go wrong. They're going to ask you for more money. You're going to have some problems. This is just life. Stuff like this happens. Now, if a contractor does ask you for more money at the end of the job, just tell them no. If it wasn't a signed change order during the job for more money um, because there was more work involved that needed more money and you agree with it, that's different. But if a guy just asks you at the end of the job, um, hey, I need some more money because I had, you know, I had problems with this or I had some hardships, you know, just simply say no. Um, you don't have to be mean about it. Tell him no. Um, if he's going to contact someone, uh, an attorney or something like that, knock, knock himself out. You're not going to get your money. There's a good chance there, you know. So be careful with that. People come up with some pretty wacky things. And I'm starting to see more and more of this at the end of jobs. It's not just in construction. A friend of mine had this happen while they were moving recently. The movers asked them for another $1,000 uh, before they were going to move the furniture into the house. And the person said no, of course, and they moved it in anyway. So be careful with some of these scams. Um, and you never know who they're going to come from. They come from a... Uh, someone that was referred to you, part of your family, you know, whatever. Just be careful.